Hey, yo, what's up people, what's going on, it's Funky, welcome back to another WWE Supercard video, very different video today, we got huge and lots of Season 9 information for Supercard, so we're going to talk a bit about that in today's video, some of you might have already seen this blog post from Supercard, but I know a lot of you won't have, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it today with you guys and girls, and we're going to talk about it, have a bit of deep dive into it, I want your guys and girls opinions on it down below in the comment section, I love to hear you guys feedback, please Please do drop a thumbs up on the video as well. I'll also be streaming later on tonight. So if you want to come into the stream and talk about it, please do. Twitch link will be down below. But let's read it out. A new season is on the horizon. Supercard Season 9 launches this November. I think we've all figured out it's November the 16th. Across internet-enabled telephones and many of your other favorite devices. I love when they try to be funny. Leave that to me, Supercat. We've got some really great new features coming that will introduce new ways to play, and we've got some new card types that we think will mix up the action in fun ways too. Interesting. Here's a quick breakdown of what's coming at launch. So the launch of Season 9 will contain the following things. Tables, ladders, and chairs. A new asynchronous? Is that how I pronounce that word? Uh, mode where you and a foe take turns guessing where each other have hidden their tables, ladders and chairs. I actually seen and shout out to Chase or Entra on Twitter, compare this to battleships. It's literally battleships. It literally is battleships. He's nailed it. Well done Chase if you're watching. You've literally nailed it. Exactly what I was thinking. Um, so basically, yeah, you'll place your tables, ladders and chairs on a grid. People will have to find them. I'm going to guess it's going to be exactly like Battleship, but it does sound fun. It does sound very fun. I'd imagine it's going to get added in to maybe the PvP style thing, or maybe it's going to be its own uh, individual game mode. Also, we have announcer cards. This is interesting. A new item for your collection. Announcer cards can be equipped and will occasionally praise you as you play. In ring, you'll see your announcer sitting behind the desk. So... Similar to um, manager cards or not equipment, what's the word I'm looking for? Like your kendo sticks, your tables, your ladders, your pump it up, stuff like that. It's going to be similar to that by the sounds of it. Maybe it was that coming soon slot we were supposed to get years ago. Maybe it's finally here. Uh, let's see what else they're adding. Special equipment. These are talent specific equipments that give big boost to select stats. Think of it as a new way to personalize your cards further. Very interesting. So they say talent specific. So does that mean like a Rey Mysterio mask or a Rhea Ripley dominate? No, never mind. Uh, is it something like that, you know? Uh, moving on, we have chat duels. This sounds awesome. Now that we think about it, it's kind of weird that you've never been able to enter into a friendly match of supercard against a friend or foe, uh, but you will be able to in season nine with chat duels. This is a feature for watch party specifically, I'll come back to that, enabling you to challenge people to best of three star matches. Shouldn't be only for watch party, it should be literally an open thing across the entire of supercard. I should be able to play a friend if I want to. Simple as that. This would make for fantastic content for your favorite streamers or creators. It would make for amazing streams. We could go up against a Twitch chat. We could go up against a YouTube. If you're a YouTube streamer, you could go up against your YouTube chat. This needs to be an open game mode. Chat Jules. It should not be limited to Watch Party, in my opinion. It's great, but that little tweak of having it as an open game mode would make it amazing. But maybe it's something they'll do in the future. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Now... We got the tiers, okay? This is interesting. Three new tiers with a twist. You're going to love these cards and the way the stats slide in and out from the panel on the side, which sounds interesting. I have seen, um, sorry, it was Froggy. Um, my mind went blank. Uh, Froggy tweeted out um, an NBA supercard style card of this, and it looks great. Um, while last season's focus was creating additional opportunities to experience supercard together, season nine focus is going back to where it all started many seasons ago, supercard as a hobby. Interesting. It's been a long-term vision of ours to create a game that you can play whenever you want and however you want having diverse modes and incredible amount of collectible content and robust reward systems that support all types of schedules are all vital to keeping this vision going. 
this is why season nine is adding value to the card collection aspect and this is also why we're going to launch with a totally new asynchronous mode allowing you to compete for rewards even when your foe isn't online interesting in December, we'll also be debuting, I'm assuming they're referring to table lads and chairs with that. We'll also be debuting, let me try that again. We'll also be debuting a more solo-ish endeavor called In Your House that will allow you to compete day by day as the holiday season progresses. Interesting. Very interesting. It's also important for us to take, sorry, it's also important for us to talk about how we'll be looking backwards in season nine as, the grow, as that's growing more crucial over time. Turns out that when you make new stuff, your older stuff automatically feels older. Who knew? I mean, me. Uh, you've spent a lot of time with us in Season 8 giving us feedback on what you want to see from the game, especially from our older modes. Throughout Season 9, we will be making changes to content based on that feedback, retuning big pieces of the game to bring it more in line with modern Supercard. I really hope they adjust events because the fact that Events are so hard to complete right now when you have to play over four days and if you want to get the heroic if you play the event twice that needs fixing If you're truly trying to make Supercard a hobby that needs to be changed um, Before we get into the changes that they've listed off here I am running a giveaway over on Twitter if you want to join it I'll put the link down below in the comment section. It is for a product called Vihit. They uh, sponsor me You can use the code funky hit for 15% off if you're going to order yourself some But if you go to my tweet and you like it and you comment which one you'd like to try I will be picking a lucky winner and I'll send you some to try out for yourself. Anyway, back to season nine stuff. Here's what we're knocking out first, though not a launch. A true battle pass. Love it. We've tried to tweak Super Pass in a way to get the best of both worlds, but it's clear that you want a battle pass. Yes, we do. Credits and everything. Redefining PvP and teams via work on their modes. Interesting. We believe that teams should offer more passive benefits and we're exploring it. Team also needs a new team event. I've been saying this for four years now, I feel like. We're exploring changes to War 2. Interesting. Card stat bans. Some of our new cards... Sorry, sorry. Some of our new friends are finding it hard to see what stats are better. Especially in modes like Survivor. We're going to widen stat bans and make it clearer. Interesting. Very interesting. Reimagining collection sets. We want to make collections more intentional as opposed to just random chance collection. Good. A sort of sticker book type thing would be amazing. I've been, I've been also saying this for years. The fact that we have a catalog, it should be like a sticker book that we can look through a lot easier. Tweaking, tuning, or possibly even rethinking fusions and fusion promos. I gave this feedback... I gave this feedback and I really hope they listened because I literally told them we need fusions a week after the new tiers come out. Maximum. Maximum a week after. It cannot be three or not three months is excessive. It cannot be six weeks to eight weeks down the line. It's too late. They were completely irrelevant by then. It needs to be, well, maybe two weeks max. Maybe two weeks max for the new tier fusions to be launched, in my opinion. That's just me. Let me know if you agree or disagree. The first two tiers should come immediately with the launch of the, of the new tiers. And then the final tier, the best tier, should get released maybe a week or two later. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that because I feel very strongly about that. More UI slash UX investment on the hood. That's basically how everything looks in terms of like the, the layout and the screen and everything like that. I'm sure every, all of you have played games. You know what a hood and a UI is. It's been a minute since we've made updates on the way our in-game UI looks and works. We're trying something in 2023. and um, uh, We'll want to know what you think. Very interested to see this because I love when stuff changes and looks different and feels different. I love it. So please do change it. Your feedback on this after debuts will inform plans across season nine. Love it. And then, and that's just a list of what we prioritize for early season. We're going to be looking at every mode. Good to hear. And event. Great to hear. And even taking a look at cards. We will also make shorter term fixes while we work on the big ones. For example, we're going to take a pass on PvP momentum point and payouts at season launch to provide some relief for an obviously troublesome area of the game. Okay, interesting. Some of this will also come via subtraction, which is going to sound funny at first, 
but stick with us on this one. It was clear for most reading their feedback, for example, that pack battle and chart topic don't occupy unique spaces in the game, so they've been officially removed. Their consideration for the Supercard Hall of Fame, however, is unknown. There's obviously a lot more going on for the future. Supercard Season 10 is going to be a fantastic moment for the game, of course, 10 years, uh, and we hope you enjoy the build-up for it during Season 9. Preparing for another great season and more information to come, on features like TLC, announcer cards, and much more. Thanks for reading, WWE Supercard. Okay, all sounds very interesting, all sounds very intriguing. Let me know your thoughts and comments on it in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys and girls think about it. I will be talking about it more on stream later on tonight. Make sure to click the Twitch link down below and come and join me. I do hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye. Cheerio.